Can you hear me? How are you? I'm fabulous. And you? I'm good, thank you. It's been a long time, almost five years. Five years, I think, yeah, since I saw you last. Yep. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for making the time. Um, because you are such a uh, you know special and important person in my one matchstick story. Um, I have such fond memories of our, our trade because I think I've traded the most with you. But we're going to focus today, just if we could, on our first trade. Okay. <laughs> um. So for those that are, that are tuning in, I am busy recapping my one matchstick story. I have made this big commitment today to, um, or this year, this January, to finish one matchstick this year. So Nikki, I think you'll be, be pleased to know if you haven't seen my updates. I've had a few things in life that have just pushed me around and I think that now is really the time to knuckle down Check. and focus. And I really want to, to finish this, to, to get it to its an end in some point where we can actually make a contribution to startup entrepreneurs. So I'm, I'm busy trying to re-envision the end goal. I don't know if it's still going to be an office because so much has changed in this world. But I thought of just recapping my story. So up to, to I think Friday or Thursday, I had explained that I put my matchstick out there and I got five offers. And I chose to trade with you. So I wanted to just to, to ask if you'd like to share what we traded, what you okay. offered me. So um, it was at a, if memory serves me correctly, it was at a, a restaurant in Cresta. Yes. Uh, um, and it was a networking event that was run by Trevor Nell. That's right. Um, for the local community. And I was intrigued with this story. Um, Many of my blogs, as you know, I, I, I'm a prolific writer, but many of my blogs get the point across by telling the story. So, uh, and I'm actually known for that, that I can take something that is very complicated and turn it into something very simplistic simply by telling the story. Yes. So the story about the one matchstick, and I think it was a Canadian guy, if memory serves me correctly, Yes, Carl McDonald did the red paperclip. Yes, 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 yes. So that was intriguing, and I wanted to be, be a part of it. And I, and I think that you chose me based purely on my absolute excitement about what was going <laughs> to happen. <laughs> and I still have, I still have your matchstick. I was going to ask, yes. yes. I still have your matchstick. It is in my display cabinet in my lounge. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. so it was very exciting and uh, it brought me a lot of joy and it also gave, provided me with an opportunity to explain why a green pen as well. Yes. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. And, okay. and please do share because of your, your work. Green yes. pen is quite so significant. As, as an internal auditor, um, in the old days in the bank, uh, I don't know if it's like that anymore because, I, I mean, green pens are readily, readily available all over the place now. But you, I worked at Citibank in those days when I started my journey as an internal auditor. And if anybody in the bank used, other than an internal auditor, used a green pen or green ink, it was considered a fireable offence. Sure. So you would have your disciplinary, but it was dismissible. It's on the spot dismissal because the auditors, and this is not just in South Africa, but worldwide, only use green pens when they're auditing um, a company's books or in the case of internal auditing, when you're going through your, da your daily, weekly, monthly, annual checks. And you make your notations on the paperwork in green ink. In green ink. So that was the story behind the green ink. Nowadays, everybody uses green pens. So I'm not quite sure what the auditors are using anymore. I still use a green pen. Um, but yeah, so that was a story that most people don't know about. Yes, it was something I learned when you, when you did it. And... Why I think I, because I had two people offer me pens, another guy Grant, and he said, I'll, I'll be boring, I'll just offer you a pen. But I chose your green pen because, um, 
Yeah, because of the, the story. story. So but it shows also, the, the sh it shows the absolute power in of story in sharing the stories. Absolutely, yeah. that's true. But the other thing you offered me was you said I want to trade with you at Trevor Niles Networking yes. Event, the Inner yes. Circle, yes. and you you offered to try and get the newspaper there. So in my my early days, I thought. Just having the trade public in front of people, whether it's just the, the networking events and if the media is there, that's even better. I needed to get the, the story out there. I needed to tell more people. So your and, pen and, and, and can value. We're not better than at a, at a meeting. And those yes. meetings, I mean, we, we soon actually even outgrew that space. Yes. And we had to go into a bigger restaurant, remember? <laughs> yeah, so... It started off with just kind of a handful of us, and then it uh, it grew into something much bigger. Yeah, those, those inner circle events were, were very yeah. interesting. Yeah. I, yeah. I really enjoyed and thanked Trevor yes. for, for that. He was also like, um, I remember speaking to him about one matchstick, and he's the one that, that challenged me to add on more and to, to think about how I could add value, and that's why I thought I'd include and he sparked the, the idea of including startups. Yeah, but also, yeah. Nikki, so, so that's what I wanted to say, is like what, you know, just to touch base with you because we then made that trade at it and um, at that meeting. Um, if you go to the blog related to this on onematchstick.co.za, which will be up in the next hour or so, you'll see some photos. Um, I think I can dig out in the archives of us shaking hands. <laughs> and yes, making up with it. We, we, we got very formal with it. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> for me, it was serious. It was my first the, the, the second one wasn't quite so formal, but it was just as much <laughs> fun. And I still wear the t shirt. <laughs> cool. I've actually got the other one, Mystic on today so we're going to be getting to the the match the, the t-shirt coming up soon but yeah so that was the first trade and then what i did is i went home that day it was actually on 15th of june 2006. wow so I went that day and i wrote the blog and i put up and explained the story about the green ordinary green ballpoint pen and why it was significant and said put it out there and said who would make me offers what can you offer me who wants a green pen and what will you offer me you got the frog, so my next, well, my next update, I'm going to share what people ah, offered me and okay. what, I, what I chose for. But I just wanted to acknowledge you, Nikki, and thank, thank you for, for joining me in this quick update just to tell everyone who's, who's watching now. Um, You're welcome. That's and I can't us. wait to see what happens next. Yes. It's I, haven't, be I haven't lost any of my excitement for this journey. Uh -huh. Yeah, me neither. And I think mine is building up a lot now. It's been a, quite a few disappointments along the way, but it's all part of my story. But it was really an honor trading, trading with you. And it's so nice to hear that the matchstick is still in, yep. <laughs> still there. It hasn't in been the display, no, it's display cabinet in the, in the lounge. Awesome. Great. Well, and maybe you should just, and um, could I have to give you a chance? What are you doing nowadays? Are you still doing auditing? I still do internal auditing, but um, I work mainly with entrepreneurs um, to teach them how to set up their businesses correctly so that it runs smoothly and it's not a stop, start, stop, start. So yeah. they don't get into trouble with the tax man or any of the other compliance uh, requirements that they have. Um, and with that, obviously, comes all my policies and procedures and templates. So I've got about 3,000 of those now. Um, and and I, I, yeah. when I send the price list out these days, I say, if it's not on there, it doesn't mean I don't have it. it just means I haven't added it onto the list yet. <laughs> list yet, because it's so, so expensive. So how can people get in touch with you if they want to read more of your stories or just get assistance for their well, startup? Um, on my my um, website, which is uh, www.billionconsulting.co.za, uh, they'll find all my blogs and my contact details. Um, I don't know if you want to give them my number. Uh, it's 083 702 And my email is Nikki, N-I-K-K-I, -K -K 
at fillionconsulting.co.za. So that's on the 1st of May, that's been going now for 19 years. So, 19, yeah. wow. 19. Well done, Nikki. And Thank I know you, 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 you make a big contribution to, to businesses. So Thank thanks you. for your work. And let's see and where one matchstick takes us now. Yes. Awesome story. Awesome. Have a thanks, great day. Tiana. You okay. too. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye. Well, everyone, that is where who I traded with. I um, took my matchstick and I went and I chose Nikki with her ordinary green ball, ball, ballpoint pen. <laughs> Put it up for, for trade again and asked who wants that pen. So next update, I will share with you what was the, what offers were made. I mean, what would you offer me for an ordinary green ballpoint pen?